It's been decades since the Vietnam War, but for some people, it seems like yesterday. Tonight on this Memorial Day, how one upstate family is remembering a Marine who made the ultimate sacrifice. A lone American flag. It rises above a cemetery in Liberty. And it's here in honor of a man who died 43 years ago. He gave his life for his country. Um, and he, he didn't just give it away. He dedicated his life to his country. Marine Corporal Stanley Pettit was killed in Vietnam on September 15, 1968. The day after his funeral, his father put up a flag near Flat Rock Baptist Church. Well, I saw the flying flag that day, and it's been flying ever since. Paul Pettit is up in years now, but for decades he checked on the flag every day. Now he entrusts others to help. I don't know of one day that he is gone without flying. Uh, the flag flying there to grave. Stanley Pettit's death took a toll on his family and left its mark on the Marines who served with him. He was a, a very professional Marine, very dedicated Marine, just a super, super young man. I was very fortunate. I served with some extraordinary men like, like Stanley Pettit and, and a whole lot of others. And, uh, I was just an 18-year-old kid at the time. Recently retired Marine Larry McCartney and John Lancaster, a Navy corpsman with the Marines, stopped by the Pettit home. This was my first opportunity uh, since Stanley uh, was killed uh, 43 years ago uh, to, to pay my respects. Larry came from Virginia and brought along a new book written by a fellow Marine who served in their platoon. Stanley Pettit is on the left on the front cover. The day he was killed, you know, it was, it was my job as the medic to do something, as a corpsman. And uh, unfortunately, there was nothing I could do. These are photos of Stanley in the weeks and months before his death. One day, he was the point man in the patrol and was killed in a firefight on a mountainside. When the guys got him and pulled him back, the magazine in his weapon was empty, and he was in the process of, of replacing the magazine so he could fire some more. Uh, he, he went down a Marine. He went down fighting. In the years since, no one who knew Stanley Pettit has forgotten his sacrifice. His family created a memorial in the living room. There are medals, a poem Paul Pettit wrote about his son's death, and a photo of the wall, the Vietnam Memorial where Stanley's name appears. I took my students up there back in the fall, and we looked for that name. John Lancaster, who teaches ROTC now, has visited the memorial often. I can tell you exactly what panel is on, what row. We've been there often. You know, the other panel 44. We were there at night, and we had the kids illuminate the wall with their cell phones so we could get a good picture of it. A name, a memory, etched in the hearts and minds of so many. And a flag that still blows in the wind, a symbol of freedom, bravery, and sacrifice. Well, I think about guys like Stan. And I wonder where they would be and what they'd be doing. Um, and I hope that their sacrifice doesn't is not wasted. I hope that we get better because of it. After all these years, a tribute to Stanley Pettit, and in the words of his father, a symbol that will live on. It's very important that we keep the flag of life for the sake of those who have gone on before. And Stanley father, Stanley's father, Paul Pettit, served in the Marines himself. And John Lancaster's two sons are in the Army. One has done three tours in Iraq. And he reminds us all it's important for us to take a moment on this Memorial Day to remember the sacrifice of those in the military.